Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at something pretty cool. Um, this is a decent uh, loose, obviously one carded here, uh, haul that I got today from this one guy that I purchased from before. And I'm very happy with the seller. He's He's got some very, very excellent stuff. Um, excellent condition stuff here. You never know when you buy loose stuff, right? A, a lot of the time when I end up buying loose stuff, unfortunately, it's gross and there's a lot of paint chips on it it's just the, what you do when you buy stuff online you take a gamble when you buy stuff loose but this seller in particular <clears throat> his stuff is in perfect condition i expect the the cars are going to be looking at are going to be amazing condition and of course you see here what is very exciting it is a toyota supra premier edition or premier collection um, I have no idea the value of this piece, but I did not pay a whole heck of a lot, to be completely honest, and it is fantastic. I have not looked at any of these cars. They're still in their baggies. Um, let's not really waste any more time here. Um, we will take a look at the Supra first, because I'm sure you guys want to see that, of course. Like I said, it is from the Premier Collection, um, like 98 99-ish, I think it was. Uh, series four, one of 25,000. Throw that off to the side, and this Toyota Supra. Check that out. So, these cars are probably gonna be a little bit dusty, not a big deal. Um, suspension, you do full details here, you have painted details in the front, painted details on the back. The wheels are obnoxiously large. That is the series. Um, but you do have a red interior with black accents. I mean, this is just such a nice piece. With the demand for the Supra and this era of car, this is definitely not going to be an easy piece to find. I, I mean, I could be wrong. This could be a cheap piece that's worth nothing, but I, I doubt it. With it being Supra, I mean, look at that thing. That thing is incredible. Um, metal base. I didn't actually know that. Made in Thailand, 94. So a metal on metal construction. This thing is heavy. So there is that one. That's a fantastic start here. Um, there's only one carded one. Actually, we'll look at this other boxed one. There's only two box cars and one carded one. Um, this Star Collection, which I'm assuming is around the same year as that. Not a whole lot going on here. Number 804, Sunshine Cab. This guy bag, uh, has baggies for everything. And I, again, I really didn't look at any of these cars. So hopefully we got some good stuff here. Some vintage, all sorts of stuff. Check that out. Wow, look at the condition of this. I love these wheels. Very old school, basic matchbox. Bit of suspension. Not really much of anything in the back. Um, painted details on the back. White piece on top is part of the interior. And painted details on the front. Just a simple, clean looking taxi. Uh, plastic base. This is an older tooling for sure. 87 or 80, yeah, 87 I think that says. Chrome base. Well, this would be late 90s for sure. Yeah, I think the suspension is broken in the back. It just caved over time because there's nothing there. But again, not a big deal. I bet you a lot of these are going to do that. Check that out though. Very, very, very cool looking taxi. Happy to add that one. Let's open up this carded one here from the Best of International. This is a 57 Chevy convertible. It says 57 Bel Air convertible. In like a gold so there's six in the set we got a alpha volkswagen cobra what is that a ford chevy van citroen ds and this thing here uh quite old 2008 so these definitely don't come up very often so let's just rip it open here i probably should start saving the card art on some of these because they are pretty cool, but I've already got so many cars. If I do it now, it'd basically be pointless because I should have done it from the beginning. So there's no point in starting it now. 
Um, the box is a little crunched, which honestly, I, I could care less. I don't really care. Still keep it for storage. Here we have the Bel Air. So no rubber tires, they are plastic. No suspension. You have this beautiful like uh, like brown gold paint. Very, very, very white interior. White walls on it, like the detail there. It's just such a nice looking model. Sorry if my hands are dirty. <laughs> if you see that, I know it's kind of looks kind of gross but um i just got off work i got this package wanted to make a video quick um that's just a beautiful simple looking model there hard to argue with that plastic base on this one uh 87 or something um, there's that one have to add that one because again a lot of these are quite tricky to get a hold of and now we're going to go into some of the baggy, baggy stuff. Um, this might be a longer video and I'm sorry if it is. I never really plan on anything with these videos. It's just kind of on a whim. And I don't even know what any of these came from or what series or anything. They could be all main lines. I have no idea. So we have this old school Jeep here with a little bit of suspension. Yeah, a little bit of suspension. It is a C-code car, so that means it is a 2010 to 2011 release. Um, I think this is a mainline. Yeah, very nice, clean, simple looking Jeep. Nice piece there. That was cool. Just grabbing them randomly out of the box here. I got this small collection for uh, a pretty good deal. We have this Range Rover in like a dark gray, black. It's a lot of metallic, it's very nice paint. Uh, black roof, matte black roof. Um, doesn't appear to have an interior. Black wheels, just like a, almost like a murdered out Range Rover Evoke. Full detail here. Nice looking model. Let's see, does it say a code on it? Should be pretty new. Okay, so this is actually a 2018 release. This actually might be a night pack. I don't know. I mean, you guys can let me know because I really don't know. I believe it's a main line, but I could be wrong. So there's that one. That one's not the most exciting, so we'll put that one off to the side. I'll have to look these cars up after and just kind of see where they're from. Anything I don't have, I basically just end up scooping. <laughs> So this Vauxhall Speedster, Opal Speedster, uh, older, it's got no, uh, no date on it. So I wonder when this was released, 2003, four, maybe What's the copyright date, 2002. So I uh, passed 2002 front detail there. That's awesome. And rear detail. That's all you need on these. Very nice looking little sports car. Don't know a whole heck of a lot about these cars, but um, they're pretty neat. I like that red, that's cool. Tuck that off to the side. Try not to waste too much time on some of these. So no, I know it's gonna be a bit of a longer video. You know, I, I should have a different formula for these videos because sometimes I just wish I had more preparation. I just kinda, go with the flow and don't really think a whole lot about it I just do what i gotta do check this one out um uh, a little bit of paint damage not a big deal this could be from factory just trying to wipe it off here and see what comes off yeah so a little bit of paint damage there but other than that in perfect condition um, that definitely looks like from factory. This is part of the Premier series. Ooh, look at that. We got detail on the bottom. Matchbox, Matchbox Ultra. Actually, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot. This came with this. So if you care to read that, certificate. Uh, 1986 Porsche 959, blah, 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 the world's greatest automo automakers collection. 
Matchbox. So it came with this. I don't know anything about this. So that's kind of cool that it came with that. This is a beautiful purpley blue 959 with a lot of suspension travel. And check that out. So much detail going on. This is a Matchbox. You know, a little toy brand that makes $1 models. And then they make this. Porsche on the wing. A little bit of flaw there, but... Yeah, just a little bit of extra white, but honestly, I could care less. I'm sure this car is not the easiest thing in the to find. Uh, what's the copy date? 86, I think it is. Huh. Screwed together. That's cool. So, that is a beautiful piece. and very, very happy to have that one to the collection. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. What do we got? What do we got? Randomly pulling these out. Ooh, Lotus Exige. Wow, look at that paint. Plastic spoiler, plastic piece here and there. I'm assuming that's part of the interior or the base. Um, tail lights there, nice detail. Front detail there. It's a great looking model. I dig that. I love, I love Lotus. We have an F code car. So that is 2013. So I'm assuming this is a mainline. 156 scale. Wow. That's kind of odd. And B706. Hmm. That's a beautiful piece. Lotus, man, they don't make a lot of Lotus Matchbox anymore. I wish they did because that's a fantastic model. On to the next one here. Ooh, I, this is my, I have a bunch of them in here, I know I do. Um, I got a whole lot of Cayennes, first gen Cayennes. And I don't have a single one in my collection until today. And this is not a bad start. Uh, like a, like a creamish interior with this beautiful blue, no suspension, Cayenne Turbo. Painted details. Bit of smudged paint there on the headlight, but not a, not a big deal. That's a great looking model. Yeah, gray base. Um, definitely older, early 2000s for sure. Maybe 2004, 2005. Yeah, that's a great looking casting for sure. Tuck that up to the side. Let's go to the next one here. I wonder how many uh, versions they made of the uh, Cayenne. Maybe I have them all here in this box. I don't know. I have no idea how they made it. How many they made? This is like a pinky red Volvo C30. Am I correct? Volvo C30. Yep. Uh, is that a B code, so 2009, front detail, rear detail there, that's a nice looking car, goofy looking, but it's kind of a neat looking little car, you know, Matchbox, I've, I've talked about it before, Matchbox does a great job, even though they're not exactly two scale, they do a great job at just realistic looking models, even if it's just a plain little car like this. You know, it's a nice looking little realistic model. And I'm already at 14 minutes here, so I'm just trying to get going here because I still got quite a few to look at. Ooh, we got another Cayenne. This, uh, I believe, is a main line. So we got a black interior, a light blue metallic. So I'm just going to get this one out of the way. So we got a light blue metallic here, looking great with black badges this time. I wonder if there's a variation with white badges like the other one had white badges. Same details. Um, no date on the bottom of this one. 
So there is that. That looks great still. I like the blue one. That one's definitely older because I know it has Matchbox on the tires. And they did that in the early 2000s for sure. Next we got ooh, another Cayenne in red. Wow. That's really nice. Brown interior, peanut butter interior. Five spokes with chrome lip. Ooh, a little bit more detail on the back now. Silver painted Cayenne Turbo badges. Taillights look a little better. So a little bit more detail there. Push this car off to the side. Very nice looking little model. Wow, I love that. So, very happy to add that to the collection as well. I'm pretty sure those are quite difficult to get a hold of. Those Cayennes are not quite uh, what you call cheap. Um, next, we have a G37 in a metallic blue with a uh, black interior. Sunroof detail there. Um, yeah. Nice looking model, front and rear detail, all the good stuff that we know and love. So we got Seaco 2010 release, or 2011 maybe. Ah, I keep knocking cars off. So that's how it works. Seaco is 2010, but they don't actually release it in that year. It's always the year after, so it would have been released in 2011. So there's that one. They didn't make a whole lot of these G37, or uh, I think they made a G35 as well. I don't believe they made a whole lot of them. Um, and in the new, there's a new five pack with a red, I believe, G37. I don't even have that one yet, but I will eventually get that. So there's that one. Moving on, moving on. I think there's only a handful of releases for the G37 for sure. We have this S550, or Cell Fit 55. Yeah. Uh, no date on the bottom of that. So early 2000s, no suspension. Yeah, you can always tell it's an early 2000s matchbox or late 90s. I think it's late 90s by the writing on the tires. So this gorgeous, like, uh, maroon paint here. No painted lights, but you do have the Mercedes and the plate. Kind of strange that they chose to do that. Front detail there. Just a nice looking little convertible. And this paint looks fantastic. It's beautiful. Very happy about that. Get that out of the way because we're running the space here on top. Okay. I've got to get going because this is... <laughs> This is going to be a ridiculously long video. Okay. Porsche Panamera. Uh, this one's fairly new. I actually already have this one. This one's an extra in this gray with bronze grayish wheels, black interior. Um, this is an M code, so 2019. Very new. You guys have seen this one before for sure. Main line, really nice looking model though. Put that off to the side. Another main line here, we have a Volvo V60. Yep, V60 from M code as well, so 2019. Main line with a gray interior, silver paint, dark gray wheels. All the right details again. Nice looking mainline model. There's that one. Get this bag open. So hopefully you guys enjoy some of these videos that I've been making. Again, I don't really have a plan for any of these videos. I just kind of spur the moment and see what kind of happens, right? So this metallic, strange like mocha brown, this gray interior. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. K-code, 
So 2017, I'm assuming it's a main line. That's a weird looking paint. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. It's kind of neat. It's different, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean that's alright. I don't I don't hate it. Um Oh, this is interesting. So I wonder. Damn. Wow, that's that's really vibrant. Holy. See how vibrant that is? If you're thinking this is the same, hmm. I don't think it's the same release. It's got a little bit different details. No, I don't think it's the same release. So it doesn't have the strip along the top. It doesn't have the turbo badge on the plate. And the details are a little bit different on the taillights. Huh. Weird. Anything different on the front? Mm, not really. Interior is pretty much the same color. Maybe on the side. No, that's a very, 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 very vibrant orange. Wow. That's really cool though. Happy to add to my Porsche collection. Tuck that one off to the side. We have four Cayennes that we've opened up today. And I'm about to add a fifth. Okay, let's get this one open. So, number five in the Cayennes. Boom. A silver, black interior. Five spokes. More of a, like a base model-ish looking wheel. Definitely older because it doesn't have the details. Cayenne Turbo in black. Um, a little bit of detail on the front as always. Very clean. Very nice looking model. Tuck that one up to the side. Almost at the end here. This one's just a main line that came out very recently. It is a very nice blue, especially in this light. The gold lip, five spokes, dark brown interior, which is very nice. Didn't even know I had dark brown interior until now. I wasn't really paying attention. 2018 L code. Main line. Details on the front. Details on the back. Details on the front. Blah, blah, blah. Same thing, whatever. I said the front for the back, but whatever. You know what I mean. So there's that one. Get rid of that. We've seen that recently. It's a little new. We don't have to waste time on that. Here we have something kind of interesting. It's a Mercedes. I'm just going to read it first. Actros. I think this is... I don't think it's... No, I don't think it's a super fast. No suspension. This whole thing is metal. Um... Chrome detail along that. That's strange. I don't have this casting. Chrome interior. Yeah, like 99, 2000, something like that. I'm assuming this is released in. It's a strange looking truck, but nonetheless, added to the collection. Happy to add that. It's always nice adding a casting that you don't have. Here we have a Jaguar XK. XK? I think so, yes. Um, B code. Sorry, I'm trying to read it. 09 is the uh, date there in this beautiful dark blue metallic with gray interior. Great, fantastic looking model. Not really sure what else to say about that one, but I love that paint. Especially in this light. I know the camera's not doing it justice, but it looks really, really good. A lot of blue cars, apparently. Got a couple more. Let's bang them out real quick. Oh, apparently, we've got another Cayenne. Bam! This is like a, like a gray brownish. So, uh, like more of a brown color. Um, looks different on camera than it does in person. With a light, silvery, gray interior. 
Again, very old because of the matchbox writing on the wheels. See, this one's got the stripe plus the plates. So, strange. Details there. It's weird how this one got a chrome base. That makes absolutely no sense on this car. I have no idea why they would do that. Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. Other than the chrome exhaust tips, like the, the rear, I guess diffuser if you want to call it that, would not be chrome in this car. I have no idea why they chose that color, especially with the brown. Oh, strange. Um, but there's that one. I think we've got two more to look at here. And that will be it, guys. I know it's a long, long video. I'm doing what I can here. Getting them all done. Bam. This one's going back for sure. Um, this is a F-150 from the late 90s. I want to say like 96, 97-ish. Basing off these wheels. I have the blue one. No, I don't have it anymore here. Um, so nice to add this red one for sure. It's a great looking truck, all jacked up. This one definitely deserves the chrome. Thankfully it has it. No details in the front, but still it has the chrome, so that's good. And there's the base. So that one looks cool. And one last piece. Not a bad one to end off the video on, but not quite as cool as that Supra, right? Bam. British Racing Green Jaguar XJ6 from the Ultra Series as well, with the detail on the bottom screwed together. And no copy date? 91. So beautiful British Racing Green with an amazing detail interior. Check that out. Of course, full details on the front, full details on the back. Details on the side. Let's see if they can show you that interior. Two tone, everything. Suspension, of course. And that is it. Wow. So, that is it, guys. I know that was a very long video, and I'm sorry it was so long, but I really wanted to get this box opened up and filmed try to get as much content as I can out for you guys and that is it so uh I'm going to start including pictures of every single car at the end nice and up close so you can guys take a look at those so stay tuned for that and see you guys in the next video